As you recall in the previous training video, we learned how to create a single custom view where, well, you just have one view. Unlike the Gantt chart, when you come over here and right click on the view bar and go to the Gantt chart, you've got two views. I mean, you've got the chart and then you have the table. Well, I'm going to show you how you can create a combo custom view where it's going to be a split view, but not vertically, it's going to be horizontally. So whatever view you want to see on the top, like maybe a chart and then down below a table or vice versa or both charts or both tables, to create that combo custom view, come back up here on the view tab, the resource views, click on other views and go down to more views. And then click on new and then go ahead and select combination view, click okie dokie and name your view. Let's call it everything we do here is spiffy. So it's going to be my spiffy tracking view, the primary view, the view that's going to be on the top, and then you have the split bar. Down below that is going to be your details. So up at the top is going to be the tracking Gantt. And then down below, hey, we can pull in my spiffy task progress sheet. Hey, why not? Go ahead and select that. Click okie dokie. And there it is, my spiffy tracking view. Click apply. Hey, there's the tracking Gantt up there. And then there's my spiffy task progress sheet down below. So as I go from one to the next here, as I select it, you can get more details down below. Again, it's my spiffy task progress sheet, which is pretty cool. It gives me more information than I can see up here. I don't have to click and drag this over, add more uh, columns, because it's enough for me to look up here to say, okay, I can see what's coming next. We're down here. Once I get to it, I get more details of that task. And then I can get it graphically here. I mean, the combo view can be pretty cool. And then, of course, to make any changes to it, to update it, come back up here, click on other views, go to more views. And then go ahead and find your spiffy tracking view. Click on edit. Change the views. Click okie dokie. I'm going to click cancel and it will update. And so to get out of this view, if I come over here and right click and go to the Gantt chart, because I'm still in split view, it just changes the top view. And if you recall in an earlier training video, to get rid of the split view, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either hover over the split bar. You can see when I hover over it, I get arrows pointing up and down. You can double click on it really fast or click and drag down to minimize it or click and drag down completely to remove it or come up here on the view tab to the split view group and uncheck the split view and then come back over here and right click on the view bar to go back to your spiffy tracking view here and, and double click really fast to get rid of it to be able to go to another view without that split view. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.